Hello everyone. So today I thought of showing you the permissions when it comes to automation rules. Now permissions in automation rules can be slightly confusing. I mean, not really confusing, but it is always good to know, especially if you are a Jira administrator. Now, if you open, I mean, it's, it's a recent thing. If you open any issue in Jira, you might see something like this like create automation and this option to create an automation is uh, there for the project administrators and if you want to control whether project administrators can create automation in their project or not you have to basically enable it or disable it in, in case you want to not allow them but basically if you go to any uh, not any but if you go to the global automation section so let us say you are within jira admin and you can see that there is something called as automation of course you know the automation section here which is basically a, a place where you can configure the configuration or basically control the permission if you click on this there is an option here called uh, allow project administrators to manage project rules so this is not massively clear but i mean not uh, not many people know about it but if you disable it i believe uh, uh, this will disallow uh, basically just keep it disabled in case there is no need or enable it and then give permission to those uh, users and uh, uh, by default of course it says that all project administ administrators can manage rules which is probably fine and uh, you have to basically think about your uh, situation in your maybe in your uh, jira instance uh, how you want to deal with it I think uh, maybe creating a separate group can work for your project admins, but in case you want to do it, then you will have to make sure that all the project admins are always part of this group. So maybe keep it enabled. I mean, at least that at least there is a way to do it. And I believe a bit more granular permission might help. In case you want to learn or basically read, read more about it, there is a page permissions required for Jira cloud automation rule. To be honest, it is not really detailed. It says for company managed projects, anyone with administer project or and browse, browse project permission can create and manage automation rules for their project, which is fine because it is company managed. For team managed projects, anyone with the administrator access can create and manage automation rules for their project. So basically you need to be the administrator of your project. And uh, I believe it is all right to keep it um, to keep it uh, enabled for them but I was thinking that if you keep it enabled then uh, it might I don't really think it might cause a problem but in the beginning just uh, think of disabling it and then maybe create a group not really only for the project admins but uh, because if you select a group here let us say you have a group called uh, you know some kind of a Jira project administrators i'm just going to select here jira developers now your G, your jira project administrator should be part of this group right and uh, if they need to create a new automation in their project they will probably re reach out to you and ask you and you can then add them to this group so that would be in my opinion a more uh, controlled way of doing things uh, basically you are going to create a group for, I mean, they may be project admin, but they also need to be part of this group so that they can use uh, automation. So I thought I'll probably talk about this because this can be useful, this can be interesting because, uh, or just keep it enabled for everyone. Uh, but when it comes to doing something in bulk, because when you have automation rule, something will happen automatically, right? So you need to be a, a bit more careful when it comes to permissions. But of course, your, uh, uh, your, your administrators can always uh, create this rule for you and i believe uh, you also need to educate people when it comes to automation uh, because not everyone can can do it uh, just like of course any training i think there should be some kind of a internal some some kind of an internal training for automating things in jira basically automation rule training and of course you can uh, refer them re ref refer your project admins to my free course uh, on uh, Jira Cloud Automation. I have plenty of videos or you can basically ask them to just follow my videos because I do make useful videos, right? Okay, that is it. That is it for today.
I hope you I hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new. Thank you very much. Bye bye.